Atherosclerosis is actually more commonly known as hardening of the arteries, and it's the principal cause of heart attacks. More than 30 or 40 percent of the population will suffer from cardiovascular disease, so it's an extremely significant disease in terms of the epidemiology and the effect on the general population. Most of our research is basic science discovery research, so we work at the very fundamental level to answer biological questions. In Toronto, we have an incredible breadth of research expertise, but people are really scattered all over the city. And I find that it's really those daily interactions when you run into someone in the hallway or you sit with someone over coffee that really allows you to sort of start to think in new ways and develop new paths to address research problems. It's going to be really great for the principal investigators and also for all of the trainees and all of the lab staff. I'm definitely looking forward to working with other students from various labs to have their input on my project to really inspire novel thinking, creative thinking. I hope that our research will definitely inspire therapeutics that will benefit patients with cardiovascular diseases. And specifically my project, we're interested in looking at therapeutics that are not just focused on cholesterol lowering drugs, but treatments that will definitely inspire mechanically based treatments. In this day and age, no one project can be done by a single scientist, by a single graduate student. Really we need to work with multiple labs. With increased interaction with other members of the Ted Rogers Centre, we hope to be able to translate our research more effectively.